There are thousands of videos on YouTube focused on developing discipline, thinking better, changing your thoughts. I'm gonna give you something radically different, but they all miss one critical thing. I'm gonna tell you what that is in just a second, but consider some of the things that you're gonna hear some of these videos say. You've gotta think about what you want, not what you lack. Focus your mind on your goals. Ignore the bad news and media because it uh, pollutes your brain. Write your goals down, keep a journal, wake up early every day, make your bed, spend time wisely, care for other people, eliminate sources of negativity in your life. Those are all great, but there's one thing that they all miss that literally determines your ability to do all of those things. And I'd like to give you a need to know in 10 minutes or less. There are three critical things you need to succeed. The first two are things that no one in the motivation and personal development world ever talks about because it's hard to monetize. Number one is getting ahead of yourself. Number two is responsibility for your electricity. And number three is responsibility for your ingredients. Let's talk about these three really quick and unpack those. Number one, getting ahead of yourself. Discipline is when your mind is in the future, and that's it. Put the needs of your future self ahead of your own. Think about all the times that your present tense self maybe drank too much or stayed up too late, chose to watch TV instead of preparing for an exam or a meeting. What happened? When it came time to perform the next day in the future, you were pissed off at your past tense self for not caring about you. So spend your time focused on you, not the you right now, the you tomorrow, the you five years from now. So how would you act if you were more concerned with how your actions would affect you five years from now than they would right here in this moment? How would you eat? How would you work? How would you maybe spend money? People make a mistake when they analyze successful people on podcasts and YouTube interviews. All the things they try to find what successful people have in common are unique to those people, their business, their life. The one thing that matters, the one thing they all have in common is this one thing. They all have that ability to prioritize the needs of their future self ahead of their own. So when their friends went out to a party, they worked, not because they enjoyed it, but because their future self would enjoy it. When their friends ate bad food, they opted for something that would benefit them in the future. So try to make this happen today. Stop focusing on how it's going to feel today. Your future self will exist and all of your success is going to come down to this one point. Will you look back at your past behavior with either regret or gratitude? So number two, be responsible for your own electricity. Your brain runs on about 12 volts of electricity. It's an electric organism, and you get to pick where that electricity goes. So like when you buy a new car, the reason that you start seeing it everywhere is because you've unknowingly told your brain that it's important to you. You focused your attention heavily on something, and it was produced in your life. So we've all seen proof of this. What you focus on always grows. And some people call this the law of attraction, the universe, energy, vibration, whatever it is. It comes down to this. We know it works no matter what we call it. The entire law of attraction can be summed up, I think, in four words. Responsibility for your thoughts. And that's what that is. So get totally clear about what you want to put in your brain's electrical center. Do you want to have the fear manufacturing news story in there so that your brain thinks that's what it needs to look for? So all the negative stuff, your brain is getting told, I'm going to go look for negative things because that's what they are telling me to look for. Do you honestly want to tell your brain to seek out anger, hatred, failure, and lack? So get responsible for what you put into your brain. That electricity is precious and it's going to seek out whatever you show it. So whatever you focus on, you can't talk to your brain. It can only observe what you're focusing on. So pick those things very carefully. Show your brain what you want, not what you fear. So number three, choose your ingredients. This is kind of what nobody talks about. It's the single thing that makes everything else possible. So in order to do any of these things well, like thinking positively or focusing on your goals, 
waking up early, those things all require something to be in place first. And that is you. The one thing you can't really exchange for store credit or trade in when you don't like it anymore is you. The one machine that does all the things is you. Would you dump a bunch of salt into your car's gas tank? Absolutely not. So when we think about the machines in our lives, we only give them what makes them run at their very best. We add maybe premium gasoline or good oil to the engine and nothing else. All the thoughts that you have and every goal you set passes through you first. So what you put in this machine, your body, matters a lot. So what if you treated your body the same way you treated your car? What would happen if you only put into this machine, you were given at birth, exactly what it needs to function at its highest level? Every single thing that you put into this machine matters, and it matters forever for you, for your goals, for your family. Someone telling you to keep the car pointed at the destination is great. But if the gas tank is full of sand and the engine's packed with water instead of oil, it might function for a few minutes, but what would happen? The machine's going to stop working. It's gonna stop achieving the goal that you want it to do. The person tells you, well, I guess I didn't do what I suggested. You didn't set goals correctly. You didn't focus on your outcome enough. And that's why you're not successful. But what you put into your machine is what really makes the difference and whether or not you're going to get all the outcomes you want this year. The skin on your arm isn't the same skin that you were born with. Your body replaces everything over time. So you get to choose what your body is made of. Like that skin on your arm right now is made up of stuff that you ate. It's made up of things that you ate. What you put into your body matters for your success more than any coach will ever tell you because that stuff's hard to monetize. Setting goals is wonderful and necessary for success, but they're hard to reach if your brain is running on garbage. There are thousands of programs that promise to deliver these secrets of what to eat, and I'll sum all of those secrets up in 20 seconds. Stop eating highly processed foods. Stop eating foods with high levels of salt, sugar, and fat. And if you don't recognize an ingredient on the label, don't eat it ever. The longer the shelf life of the food, the worse it is probably for you. Four-legged animals should be avoided or consumed minimally. Don't ever eat foods that are drastically altered from their original form, like apple juice, chicken nuggets, vegetable chips, potato chips, the less something has been modified from its original form, the healthier it is. Plan your meals in advance this year and always have some snacks handy that actually come from the earth instead of a factory. So cook rice or something ahead of time. Prepare for your cravings in advance and put that stuff in the fridge. When you're traveling, find healthy places to eat ahead of time. Avoid packaged foods in all forms as much as possible. The good foods are mostly around the kind of the perimeter of the grocery store. The middle is kind of the package stuff. Choose ethically raised animals. And this isn't just some kind of a, a protest thing. Not only is it probably the right thing to do, those factory raised animals live a horrible life. And those stress chemicals like cortisol in the animal stay in the meat. That's a fact. Eating well is not about how long you live. It's about how well you live. And you deserve high quality thoughts and feelings. And the machine that makes them is depending on you to get it running at its highest level. You are in charge. The link in the description contains a completely free behavior training kit to get you started. And I really hope you enjoy this video and please consider subscribing. I will see you next time. And please remember, you are in charge. I love you.